In the first decade of the 21st century, as Israel reached its 60th year, a great deal of thought was invested to find a way that diaspora Jewry could develop a meaningful relationship with Israel. The powerful revolution of communication technology and social networking made possible real people-to-people -people connections between diaspora Jewry and Israel. This is a story where capital investment in a specific place can grow into real relationships between people and communities, affecting the futures of generations to come. World Ort makes this happen. One of the most important things uh, is education. You know, people say that education is the future, but I have Shimon Peres, our president, say it's not the future, it's the, it's the present. Betty Schoenbaum, through the Schoenbaum Family Foundation, was looking to make an investment in youth and education in Israel. An investment that would have a real impact on Israeli society. She especially wanted to help the Ethiopian community to reach their potential so that they could participate fully in Israeli society. World Ort identified a region of Israel where Betty Schoenbaum's vision could be realized. Kiryat Yam, a town north of Haifa, with a population of 50,000 citizens. Russian and Ethiopian immigrants make up a large percentage of the population. The town had suffered from many problems, such as low income and poor education facilities, and was badly damaged by Hezbollah rockets in the 2006 Lebanon War. Together with the Schoenbaum Family Foundation's generous donation, a visionary mayor, and the expertise of World Ort, the future of this town has been totally transformed. The hub of this exciting new makeover is the Rodman School, serving around a thousand children aged 12 to 18 years of age. Over the past two years, the school has been renovated beyond recognition. This school is the epicenter around which several educational and cultural institutions have been built. One of these is the new planetarium for the viewing of educational movies projected across the domed ceiling using NASA technology. A state-of-the-art oceanarium eight guided screens of underwater life used as an educational tool for the school and the region. A new sports stadium and athletic center. The new Ethiopian Heritage Center is the place where Ethiopian immigrants can come together as a community in the center of the city. The D. Dan and Betty Khan Science Center serves as home for the different science tracks taught in the town's schools. In the mornings, Pupils from all three high schools in town study science in the new center. This state-of-the-art learning environment includes smart classrooms and advanced laboratories. Up-to-date equipment provides pupils with the opportunity to perform experiments and undertake high-level research. The impact that this has had on the town is huge. Not only has there been a dramatic increase in the academic level of the students, even the value of houses in the area has risen. In less than two years, an idea became a reality. World Old implemented uh, this project in Kiryat Yam in partnership uh, with the city. It's an amazing uh, project, and if uh, funds would become available, a project like this can be implemented in other cities in Israel. But the story doesn't end here, because due to the success that resulted from the original donation, the mayor and World Ort have been able to leverage further funding, both from government and from independent donors. And now for the perfect ending. This entire project has led to a full partnership between Betty Schoenbaum's hometown, Sarasota, Florida, and the citizens of Kiryat Yam. This is one story where a generous donation sowed the seeds of a relationship that will go on for years and continue to bind diaspora jewelry with Israel. <laughs>